Hi, it's your boy Chef from Uptown. Shout out to On The Block. You already know. On The Block with HipHop.com. You already know who this is. Going Check down. his music out. Check what he do. He puts it together. My man. Good. Start. What's going on, bro? Everything How's everything? Good, man. Everything is good. Tell me your input on the grind. Because I've seen a lot of people wasn't really on their grind. Yeah. And he was letting them yeah, know. Yeah, and I definitely was. Tell the people about it. My, my theory is grinding is something that a lot of people seem not to understand and know about. One, getting up early in the morning and dedicating an hour or two to your craft mm -hmm. every day, seven days a week. You know what I mean? Like, that's grinding. And to me, it seemed like a lot of people don't think that everybody wants the shine time right now, but they never want to put the work in to get it done. You know what I'm saying? So when they, you know, it's, it's always a different kind of animal when you under that light. Exactly. So when that light click exactly. on and they like, go now, you <laughs> like. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, uh-huh, right, yeah. Well, uh, uh, that's 30 seconds. You only got a minute and a half to get it off. Exactly. See what I'm saying? So like certain things like that to me just lets me further know that, you know, people still need to, you know, be on their grind. Be on their grind. You know I, mean? I guess they don't know exactly what that word grind yeah. mean. Yeah. You got to live it, love yeah. it. Sometimes just do it for free you because of love, love it. Like you, you said, do. everybody wants that shine yeah, now. The light, see? But the if you get the shine now, about two weeks later, there's it. no shot. And then you get exposed. Exactly. Yeah, Tell exposed. the views right now what you're working on, what new music is coming through, where um, clubs we can find you at so we can get it, you know. Uh, actually, real quick, I'm taking a break for New York. Starting in December, I'm going back overseas, so I'm going to Japan for three months. And um and to do the whole UK thing for a couple of months and okay. we'll put New York on hold for for a, for a second. minute. Yeah. Well, what are we gonna do, man? I mean, we gonna have to substitute somebody else that's not on their grind. You see what I mean? I mean, you know, um, <sighs> okay. All right, well, you know what I mean? Such and such. Um, it's, next it's money time. You got up and coming DJs, right? That's trying to get the same spotlight that you have. Tell them what they got to do to be on that grind to get where you are. Allen Iverson. Practice, 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 practice. That's the bottom line. You cannot um, study others and not practice. Exactly. It doesn't work like that. Exactly. You know, exactly. so it's like if anybody's out here emulating, because, you know, I heard the whole big... You know who from the you know where, the new grandmaster, you know what I'm saying? So there's a new grandmaster out here. But that's the, the point of being exposed. You see what I'm saying? So now it's like people are really digging up information and trying to find out about, well, okay, well, he says he's doing this or he has done that. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's find out what he did. And then they exactly. pulled up the footage and it was like, yo, who is this dude? You know what I mean? So now you got the great ones after you as well as the new and up and coming, like, yo, who is this guy? And now it's the point in the finger. So exactly. my objection, objective for anyone that wants to DJ, that want to learn how to sing, that want to do anything, they want to take film, they want to take pictures, want to do anything, the most important thing is to learn your craft and practice it as much as you can before you come out the doors. You already got, he just gave you the blueprint, y'all. He gave you the whole blueprint from beginning yeah. to end. You know what I mean? Work your craft, grind. This is Tim House with Mel Star okay. on the block with hip hop. No. On the block with hip hop dot com. What's going on? It's your boy Tim House on the block with hip hop. We're here with Juan, man. You know what I mean? I'm just not. I'm just gonna let him talk, man. I'm not gonna say nothing. Let Thank him tell you, you the brother. history about that, man. All right, yo, this your boy Juan, also known as Capital One. I was little one back in the days. I signed to a group called the Hot Ones, down with Dan Grease's vacant lot. We had a song with Scarface called Nigga Haters. We had the song Good Morning America with Cameron. Video was all on BT, all kind of other places or whatever. Working hard from the younger days, battling dudes, running around Harlem or whatever. We kind of like the cornerstone groups in Harlem as far as this go, you know what I mean? Like a lot of the young dudes who came up, came up basically off of our music. And some of them is basically the same age as me. We just started so young when we was doing this that you know what I mean? He's respected for what we do. Okay. So, right. you know what I mean? Just out here working. Now I'm producing and all that. I couldn't wait for nobody beats. I had to get out and get it my own and true hustling nature like I have it. You know what I mean? Okay. All 
right, all right. Well, um, what do you think the direction of hip hop is going now? Because you know the times, you know. Uh, hip, it's crazy. Hip hop is more single driven now. Like, albums is about to come a thing of the past. I give it about a good five more years. People just gonna be dumping out singles. But thanks to certain artists, I mean, hey, the big name in the room right now is gonna be Kendrick Lamar. Lyrics is coming back to hip hop to whereas you can't just put forth no bullshit and people gonna buy into it. So thanks to him, people are buying into real albums, real things like that. But then you have a bunch of other groups, a bunch of other acts that's coming out with singles and they just getting on like that. So it's kind of funny. It's something you gotta find a way to kind of balance the two. But me doing what I do, wanting mm -hmm. to do this for hip hop music, not just doing it just to make a quick buck or nothing like that, doing it because it's something I love or whatever. I want to give y'all the best quality music possible. You know what I mean? That's where I'm coming from. Okay. Um, you got any projects or people you oh, working yeah. with? Or uh, basically, as a producer, I'm working with a little bit of everybody or anybody who's down to work. But I did some. I did a single called CEO Music for a dude from up here, A Mafia. I did uh, some stuff for Jim Jones, Dope Boy, a couple of other songs. Uh, I mean, basically, Chef, I did something for him. You know I mean, he's working, he's in the can, we're working with him. Me, Noah, damn near everybody. I did, I did, I even did some projects for Grease on Grease mixtapes. Some of the Wave Gang. I produced some songs on there, so I'm just out here working. But the big, big thing is my, my mixtape, my new mixtape that's coming out called Wait for the Wait. I'm thinking about dropping that a little before Christmas. It's in the process of getting mixed right now. Man. When I say this is that other, this is that bring it back to New York kind mm -hmm. of music. It's definitely that. It's that old. It's that old vintage feel with that new energy. It's crazy. Pictures want to stick me for my paper. All the rakes up and bigger than skyscrapers. No ho chaser, just good times replacer. Now she gassed up. Her friend got the papers. See you later. Hip-hop.com.